I'm stuck in a metal box alone for 24 hours. What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We are at the Underground Bunker, and we're looking to upgrade it. Now, I know we've done a large series upgrading it so far, but you know what? We're just going to upgrade it some more, and we have some really big plans for the bunker this time. We're looking to do some upgrades to taking this from a safe house to a luxurious hotel that we're going to be posting on Trivago. Airbnb, this bad boy. That's exactly what we're going to do. 100 bucks a night, plus tax. First, we'll give you a little overview about what it is now. Obviously, it's covered up. We saw that in the first video. The cool thing is that the grass grass has already grow back and on top it's green you can look up there right around the top it is green now so it is fully concealed from the top you can't even know it's here we also have gravels down here instead of mud that way we can actually do stuff as you walk in the door not much has changed on the inside and that's the biggest problem we've had so far not much inside progress we still got the hammock from like the third episode we got the generator we got the solar powers that charges generator we do got a mosquito net and we also got a futon which is really nice but besides that that's that's honestly about it and you need a whole lot more than that to live comfortably that'll help you survive but to live luxurious you need more than that one of those things is this over here we've kind of already set it up this is a rain barrel it's filled up a little bit it's literally took this thing two months to fill up to about right here. so basically it's going to take about four years to actually get it to fill up completely through rain but it is pretty cool because here's what's happening you come over here it gives you some water that's pretty cool obviously it's not exactly the cleanest water in the world but it does have this thing so that you know mosquitoes can't get in and big rocks and stuff you could stay alive on that you could definitely drink that if you had to we have a filter that screws onto it in here so you could actually drink it but this in my opinion is mainly for like hey you go out you kill a squirrel it's got hair on it you bring it back here and wash off the hair or wash your hands or something if you're muddy what we're actually wanting to do to make that even better is one put a bigger spigot on it just in case but we're actually going to take that spigot off put it on a five gallon bucket that way if we plan on coming here for a week we can fill up the five gallon bucket with completely clean water bring it out here that way we know it's clean and we have no doubts at all that it's been out here for two months we don't really know what lives in it. now for sleeping if y'all remember one of the episodes where i did sleep in the hammock it was the mo most uncomfortable thing <laughs> i've ever slept in my life but today i got a cot let's check it out let's open it up i went ahead and bought a decent cot because i figured you get what you pay for and I can use it for camping. And it's a folding cot. One of the most important things about the bunker is you gotta take into account you don't have much space, okay? It's like a submarine. If you can get something that folds, that's the best idea. This was an expensive cot. It better be nice. You got a pillow. Oh, that's nice. It's still pretty heavy for a cot. It's like a folding bed. It's supposed to be. All right, let me try this bad boy out. All right, hell yeah. There it goes. Okay, we'll keep the boots off, boots off. Okay. As you can see, my body's overall flat. Whenever I stayed the night in the hammock, it was more like this, and it was really not very comfortable at all. So, boom! That's our first addition. I got a cot. I can actually sleep now. The next thing we got, and is extremely important, we got a shelf. Hey, baby, saying, Kill dude, why, why is a shelf so important? Because it's a stinking shelf, Karen. Chill. Who doesn't want a shelf? Gosh. Now we can actually stack stuff instead of just letting it sit on the floor since this is a shelf and it's going to take a minute to set up enjoy this time lapse with some epic christmas music <laughs> I don't need the hammer no more. That's going to be key because as you can kind of look in here and see, most of our most important things are just like sitting there on the floor. Let's see if it'll fit in there. Oh yeah. Now we can come in here and get the generator and be like, yep, we just, we'll just put it right there and boom, it's ready to go. That's pretty neat. Here's that thing I was talking about earlier, how we can screw it on if we really want to and make sure the water's clear. Boom, there it is. It's on a shelf now. Here's the mosquito net. We'll just move it right here. Because you know it's got magnets. That's awesome. Speaking of magnets, you can't just drill a hole in the side of that to like hang something up. The thing is metal. So if you drill in the side, you're literally like, I don't know, you're, you're putting a hole in it. So what we decided to do is use the metal to our advantage. How do we do that? We bought very strong magnets so that we could hang whatever we wanted to on the wall. One pack's rated for like, I don't know, 20 pounds. The other one's rated for 100 pounds per magnet. Okay. See? Boom. Can't hold to it. I'll let shelf hold it. I'm excited to see those magnets. I am too. They're strong, dude. Here's the 100 pound magnets. 
They can hold 100 pounds if they're flat up against it like this. Like this, it holds 50. You think three of them would hold you? Well, I'm not 300 pounds, so I hope so. Here's this one. Ready for this? Gosh! It's pretty strong. Try to pull it off. Yeah, but I'd say them would hold. I do too. I think they slap one. Well, if we slap one to the ceiling, we'll never get it down. Yeah, so. we will with these this. Try it. <laughs> we like magnets. <laughs> I can't get it off the ceiling though, if that tells you anything. But yeah, we got magnets, just so you know. The fleet is finished. Our magnet they won't. fleet. Also, so like these are really cool. They're like really small and really useful and stuff. But the problem is that, well, these are not a problem. Okay, you can throw them on, get them off, throw them on, get them off. They'll hold what you need them to hold. These are the problem, okay? We can't get them off. We don't actually have a plan as to how to get those off. So basically, I don't know, we're gonna have to build a rope just to pull them off. And then whenever you do pull them off, it's like sketchy. But yeah, there's that. What else do we have? Is that all we got? Oh yeah, there's a fan. As you know, one of our biggest problems in this uh, bunker is gonna be ventilation. We got a couple plans for that. And I mean a couple plans for that. One of our plans is to get a fan. Now obviously that's not gonna solve all the problems, but it should help circulate air a little bit better. Oh yeah, it's not too big, not too small. Obviously a bigger one would have been better, but then at the same time a bigger one would have used more power that we just don't have. It's got a couple different settings so we can always put it on low. See we come in here, plug it into the plug-in outlet or whatever. Okay, we got circulation. Turn on high. That's pretty good. Oh that's good circulation. That's good enough for a bunker. You can definitely feel it. And it's quiet which is good. Right now it's got 34 percent. We can hook up the solar panels and charge it up a little bit but there's no sun because we live in Kentucky so that's big sad. It was literally like warm and it decided to snow this morning. But yeah the sleeping bag. I decided to buy two sleeping bags for pretty obvious reasons so that we could sleep and not freeze to death. They're rated for 32 degrees to 77 degrees so it stops about freezing. Hopefully it don't get that cold in there. Yeah if it gets much cold Colder than freezing. Tough day, tough day. Maybe bring a blanket or something. But they should be good for any other time. This is another reason why I needed a shelf because we obviously need somewhere to store these when we're not using them. We can't just leave things sprout out all over the floor because we don't have that much space to do that. The other one's exactly like this, so I'm not going to pull it out. What is this, like a carrying thing? I guess. You know what, I ain't going to pull it out because I'll probably never get it back in. But it's one of those, okay? It's See, it's a waterproof, breathable, windproof, soft, durable. I don't know what that means. So yeah, we got two pretty good sleeping bags. And then the cooking thing, which we'll have to go back to the house because I forgot to bring it. We're a lot better off than we was 30 minutes ago. One of the most important things about a bunker is using your vertical space because you do not have much horizontal space. So that's what we brought the shelf for, and even then we're going to stack the sleeping bag. What would be a better idea eventually if we get enough stuff is to have like shelf, 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 shelf because we don't have much space as it is. We also got lots up here, but I think y'all probably already knew that if you watched the other videos at least. And now for the grill thing I think I told y'all about. This is it. It runs off of propane. Y'all seen it in one of the last videos where we got the Can-Am stuck. Unfortunately, we never got to use it. I bought the wrong kind of gas. Now we got it. So this is probably what we'll be, we'll be using to cook with. It comes up like this. Folds out. We think got a we see you got a grill, dude. And if we really need to, we got ghosts right there. We can eat them. This is what we're gonna be cooking with. But y'all are gonna see that because well, we're going camping really, really, really soon. It's got its own flight jacket. It is the day, guys. We are go heading into the bunker. Let's set the scenario. Something crazy happened, okay? Nuclears are popping across the skies. Asteroids are falling everywhere. I got the AK. I got a backpack. We'll show you what's in it later. And Ethan has a mysterious box. But yeah, we're heading into the bunker, hoping to stay here for a day. We're retreating into the unknown. <laughs> Don't drop the box. If you do, we're going to be in bad shape. Mm. And we're in. Let's go, baby. Turn on the lights. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. The sleeping bags are no longer in there, but I've actually hung them up with the use of the magnets. I got the two sleeping bags and my cot. Using the ceiling and the magnets to our advantage. That's going to be key, guys. That's going to be key. Ethan, go ahead and shut the door and we'll go ahead and start the timer. So here's the thing, guys. Since we're doing the 24-hour bunker challenge, we cannot leave the bunker itself for 24 hours. Now, since we are in a big metal box, ventilation is important, okay? Because if we just truly shut the doors, we would die from lack of oxygen. So we do have this door here cracked so the air can, you know, circulate. Also, whenever we start cooking, we're gonna be cooking right there so that the air can circulate right there. So I think first things first, let's go ahead and start cooking our dinner or lunch. All right, this is the same grill that we was looking at earlier in the video. 
We did bring some meat with us, and it's over there in the backpack, so that's what we're going to be cooking tonight. Since this is a bunker video, we had time to pack what we needed to before we actually had to come to the bunker. So we got a few things, we threw it in the backpack, what we thought we would need, and that's what we have for the next 24 hours. Literally just threw it in there. Because that's what would happen if like something really was going down. We'd have a little bit of time to grab modern food, turn it on some heat, hit the sparker, Boom, we got fire right here. The good thing about this is that if we wanted to, we can just bring like a pot or like a pan, set right over there and that'll go ahead and heat it up. And we don't have to grill food, like it'll work with anything. In the backpack, we just threw some random stuff in here. But what we hope to eat tonight is pretty basic food. We got plenty of waters in there. We got us a pack, half a pack of bacon. We're planning on eating half of this tonight, half of this in the morning. But you may be saying, Kendall, dude, do you have a, do you like have a refrigerator? No, we're gonna like toss outside because it's pretty cold outside. And that's another thing, it is gonna be cold. But since this is an underground bunker, it works off like the geothermal thing. So the inside of the bunker is the same temperature as the inside of the ground. And it's a pretty steady like 58 degrees. So even though it's super cold outside, if we get back there in the back of the bunker, it's gonna be like 58 degrees. Plus these sleeping bags that we opened up yesterday, we'll be warm dude we should be perfectly fine okay okay it's doing really good on low it's doing really good on low we just gotta wait here and whenever it gets a little bit done we'll let y'all know Alrighty, guys the bacon's done ethan's is over there in a the plate mine's right here we got it real nice very crispy we're letting it cool off because it's like fresh off the grill here's the thing though guys if you want to pick up one of these this is a nomadic grill you can get these on amazon i'm going to put the link first link in the description so if you want to check this out it's really cool i mean you saw us use it you straight up plug it into that and it just straight up does what it does we could have cooked the whole pack of bacon on here if we wanted to but obviously we only cooked three pieces this thing's definitely staying in the bunker because this is literally perfect but now for the moment of truth try out your bacon also it is a little smoky we are aware of that we do have the fan running so that should help a little bit my bacon's good i'm buying one is it good yeah pretty good you got new grease traps too yeah Mm. It's a little bit healthier than I would cook it at my home just because all the grease dripped out the bottom. We're going to spend 24 hours in a bunker. Food is going to be one of the only things that helps us do it. That and sleeping half the time. Taco salad. Yeah, we didn't bring that. Though. Alrighty, guys, some time has passed. Issa, Ethan actually had to leave, so now I'm out here alone. It's more food and more oxygen for me, I guess. Do got this little chair. I could sit on the futon, but it's way back there by itself, and if I went back there, I'd feel lonely. At least sitting right here, I have the shelf to talk to. I guess while I'm sitting here, I'll go ahead and show you what's in the rest of the backpack. I mean, I got twice as much food as I expected to have now. So, just a little breakfast. We have the bacon, and then we have uh, four eggs here. That was going to be for both of us, but now I get four eggs. And then I brought a frying pan to cook it in that way you know this is how you cook eggs can't cook eggs on a grill then down here somewhere i have some butter just a little bit of butter already picked out there for that and then for dinner or late night snack we're going to eat uncrustables but looks like i get two uncrustables now but as for now my goodness man the generator's holding up pretty good we got enough battery to do us about four more hours of that lot which is a good thing it's about time to go to bed i'll get out my cot and my sleeping bag out here in a minute they're both hanging up there, saving space. This isolation is really taking a toll on me. I don't think I'm even gonna eat the Uncrustables tonight. I'll save them for tomorrow. Maybe not even eat them at all. Here's the thing though. I got the cot up there and sleep back up there. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up now and I may just go ahead and go to bed. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Living in a bunker here. Yeah, it's not much, but that's all we got right now. Like, I don't I don't know what the next step is. There's there's really nothing to do. It's not like I need to cook right now because I'm not hungry. I mean, I guess I could sleep, but it's really not that late. But how in the world would I know? It all looks the same in here. Day, night, evening, winter, it's all the same. The good thing is that I should sleep most of it. But besides that, it's just going to be rough. I'm stuck in a metal box alone for 24 hours. And I'm not even close to being done. That's it, that's it. I'm getting in the bed, I'm going to sleep. The quicker I can go to sleep, the quicker I can get out of here. <laughs> It has officially came down to the time, okay? It's like, I looked at the clock, it's like 9.50. I don't care, guys. I wanna go to bed. There's nothing else to do here. The weird thing about the bunker is that I'm not gonna know at all what time it is by the time I wake up. It's a big metal box. There's no light. There's no sounds. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, guys, I'm fully in the sleeping bag now. I'm gonna go ahead and 
get to sleeping. I will pick up the camera in the morning or whenever I wake up next. All right. So I'm pretty sure I got in the bed at about 9.30 or something, or 10. It's about 12.30 right now. I have not slept at all, actually. My stomach's been growling a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat an Uncrustable. The reason I'm having a hard time sleeping is one, I have a hard time sleeping in a normal bed. Two, the sleeping bag is like squishing me like this. I'm like, I can't move, I can't move. Nothing's tried to come through the doors yet, which in the case that something did come through the doors, I just activate the clicker and detonate the front doors. I can just suffer there. I would say this is exactly what I needed, but in all honesty, this is probably just gonna make it that much harder to sleep. It is the next morning. You can see there's a little bit of light outside. Would you believe me if I told you I actually didn't sleep at all? Like it was, I don't know what was wrong, but like it just wasn't good for sleeping or something like that. I don't know if it's a sleeping bag. I do know that I felt like I was wrapped up like a mummy and I really couldn't move. It wasn't super cold except for the part where air was coming into the sleeping bag, so it was pretty sad. But yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I mean, not leave, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with breakfast. I do not have much memory left on this memory card so I gotta work fast and be really efficient with what I film. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that cooking. I'll catch y'all right here in a second. I don't recommend this. This is not fun. Like I don't know what y'all's idea of fun is but this ain't it chief. I got a stinking bacon smoking up in here. If I didn't have the door cracked I'd have probably died last night. This ain't my idea of fun okay. Something had to give last night and it just didn't. I did not get a second of sleep. Not a second. I got two eggs cracked in the pan. I still got two more, but I can tell you, I'm not eating them, guys. I don't know what's up. I'm not really that hungry this morning. I did have the literal midnight snack of the Uncrustables, so they came in pretty close. But yeah, we'll flip the bacon here. We're cooking on a plastic fork, but, I mean, it worked decent yesterday, so it'll just have to work. It'll have to do. It's all we got. The bacon turns out... Whoa, now. Well, calm down, Jerry. Well, goodness, dude. What are we doing? What are we doing? Listen, if you are in an actual bunker, do not cook with fire. That is not the way to do it. I don't know what you're going to have to do, but this ain't it, Chief. That just that just ain't it. Look at all this smoke. You, you kidding me? That's a good way to die. Just go ahead and throw that bacon over on the fire, man. Let it roast. Let it roast, buddy. Meanwhile, we over here got these eggs sitting here cooking around. I guess we'll try to scramble them some. I ain't got no salt or pepper, so they're just going to be raw cooked eggs, I guess. I don't know. Basically, we'll what we got going on. I do not know how to express this enough, but that was not fun at all. I mean, am I glad I done it? Not really, but you know, it's too late now. I don't know, I'm gonna finish up cooking. Like I said, guys, I've only got two minutes left of film, so. Woo. Three, two, one. All right, guys, I don't know if you can tell back there behind me, but I have opened up the door a little bit more. I've only got a few hours left, guys. I, I, I'd rather not die in those three hours from the smoke. So I turn, open the door, turned on the fan. We're trying to vent this place out. I don't have much longer to go, but I, I ain't done yet. Got the eggs here. Let's we'll see how they are. They're terrible, but they're edible, I guess. Actually, hmm. they're all right. As for the bacon, it's kind of hard to mess up the bacon, so I'm going to imagine it's pretty good. As it is, it's great. So we're all for a bunker meal. Gotta say it's really good. It's really great. The bad thing about that is that it's not an actual bunker meal because I don't think there's any way to cook that without making an extreme amount of smoke. Even whenever I just put the eggs in the pan, it still smoked a lot, so. As much as I hate to say it, I don't think we're, I don't think we're ever going to be able to consistently cook that food in here, so. As for now, I got about four more hours. So I just gotta sit here for four more hours. That's the game plan, let's do it. I tell you what guys, it has uh, not been 24 hours, but I don't care, I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here, dude. This was not what I expected, but as for now, adios, adios.